everyone welcome back to my channel today i am doing this red glitter smoky eye tutorial for you it is perfect for the holidays it's a makeup look bold eyes and a nude lip i hope you enjoy and the star of the sh show is the nyx glitter pigment that i picked up at my local ulta so i will leave that in the description box below in case you want to check it out and get it for yourself go ahead and do so but yeah i hope you enjoy this tutorial please don't forget to like comment and subscribe before you leave and yeah let's get on to the tutorial now so the first thing i'm going to do is my eyes since we are using a glitter pigment it's going to be a little it's going to be really messy so it's going to look kind of like a mess before it looks better but the first thing i'm going to do is prime my eyelids using this urban decay eyeshadow primer potion in the color Eden just to prime the lids. Now I'm going to be going into the blood sugar palette and I'm going to use this almost like a whitish cream color. I think it's more white than anything um, and it's called glucose and I really love to put this around the brow bone area and right basically under the brow the whole way and then also on the inner corners that way this doesn't get too smoky around the inner eye portion because if you have hooded eyes like me um it can look really really i don't know strong and out there if you get your reds too close to the nose area so i like to put down the white shade just so if you do get a little carried away with your blending and it gets closer to your nose at least that white will kind of I don't know just shade it out where it's not as harsh right there around the nose area and then I'm going to go in with this sugar cane color and I'm going to use this as my transition color. It's just a base color. It's a little bit darker than my natural skin tone. That way the reds won't look as harsh and easier to blend. And it looks just more put together and a lot, um, I don't know, it just looks a lot more blended together and um, smooth looking. So as you see, I'm putting it right in the crease area and just blend and get out really smooth all right now i'm going to go in with this prick color right here out of the um, blood sugar palette and i'm going to put this um, i'm first going to basically mark out where i want my crease to be and um, i have to fake a crease because my real crease since i have such hooded eyes is if I was to just put it on my lid area, you would never see this color. So I like to put it up to my um, fake crease, the crease I create. So what I do is I open my eyes and I just put it on the line right above where you can see the actual little lid color like you see right here me doing. And then that whole fake lid space, um, I put that prick color and then I will blend it out in a minute. To help blend out this prick color, I'm going to use this color Sugar Cane, which is um, basically my, uh, almost my lid color, just a little bit darker as a transition color and also help um, blend out that prick color. Basically in between glucose and prick, just to blend those two colors together and make it more seamless and put together looking. Now I'm going to go in with this intravenous color out of the blood sugar palette and I'm going to put it on the outer corners of the eyes just to deepen this 
I look a little bit more and blend it out. Now I'm using this NYX pigment primer and I am going to put it on basically exactly where I put that prick color from um, the blood sugar palette um, right on my fake lid space um, all across there and I would recommend you to actually put it on the brush and kind of brush it on top of your lid instead of doing what I did and I put it on the back of my hand and I kind of did a little bit at a time um, I did kind of perfect this later but I think it works out better for me personally if I just put a little bit on my brush and kind of smooth it out with the brush on my lid um, that way it's quicker and you can get more of a sharp almost like cut crease with the the pigment primer um, but I did it this way and it works just fine but now I'm going to be using my NYX red pigment glitter and I'm going to put that on top of the primer. Okay, so I have perfected this method of working out better than I actually did in this video. Um, so the way I did it in this video, okay, the actual pigment looks like pretty much a salt shaker with a cap. Um, so what I did was take the uh, label off of it or the little safety seal out of it and I put a little bit in the cap and I put my brush into the cap and I applied little bits at a time but I find it easier if um, the little stopper that's inside of it that makes it come out like a like a little salt shaker like salt or whatever if you take that plastic thing out with like your tweezers like I do now um, and then put your brush actually inside of it and maybe tap it once on top and then like press the pigment on brushed the brush pigment the pigmented brush on top of that primer it actually works out better you might have to do it um, four or five times doing it that way but to me personally I think it um, packs more of a punch but putting your actual brush into the container and tapping it once that way instead of just keep you know shaking your pigment in the lid and doing it that way I think it just doesn't come out as pigmented as fast it's uh, I don't know it's just a slower process so I personally like doing it the way I came up with after this video but I'm just sharing my thoughts along the way um, but this worked out great and it looks beautiful it just took a little bit more time than it does now that I've learned this other method so I'm going to do my eyeliner and I'm using the Essence Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. It's the black one with blue writing. They have a lot of eyeliner pens. That's why I'm trying to say which one it is. But yeah, I'm just going to do some cat eyes. I really don't know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Like each cat wing is a little bit different that I do. I don't really have one in my mind before a look I kind of just look at the eyeshadow and figure out where I want to start and then I just start on the outside of the eye and a place where I want my wing to stop and then I go towards the center of the lid and then that kind of outlines where I'm going to go with the other eye but it's really easy because since you're doing your eye makeup first if you kind of make one like way bigger than the other you can kind of still clean it up really easy because you still got to do foundation and stuff and you can wipe it away with a makeup wipe and yeah it's just a lot simpler doing all your eye makeup first so I highly recommend you to do that if you have not already tried that before but yeah I really enjoy this essence eyeliner pen definitely recommend you to try it it's really easy to get 
um, all over around the world, it seems like. Um, I know my friend um, Ida, which is DD5, she can get it in Sweden pretty easily, and I can get it pretty easily over here. Um, and it's a drugstore brand, so it's affordable everywhere. Um, we can get it at Walmart around here, and I don't know where she gets hers, but I know we both can get this brand pretty easily. The next thing I'm using is these Spa Scriptions Pore Refining Makeup Cleansing Wipes. I got these, I believe, at TJ Maxx, maybe Ross. Really can't remember, but I know they was really affordable, and they are cruelty-free, 60 wipes. Um, I don't know where else you can get them besides, like, a, a Ross or something like that, but they work pretty good, so if you see this brand, pick it up, because I have had um, some bad makeup wipes that dry out or really fast are the packaging busts on the side where it dries out these seem like they're really good and moist wipes so i recommend them they're really nice they don't break me out they don't burn um i don't really see them minimizing or smoothing or strengthening anything but they clean up pretty well Next thing I'm using is the Smashbox The Hood Witch Photo Finish Crystallized Primer to moisturize my face. And this is a very nice primer. I enjoy it very much and it smells like a peach. And yeah, I love all Smashbox primers pretty much that I have tried. Next I'm using this Physician's Formula Conceal RX um, Concealer and I'm going to Okay, so I start off, I'm going to start off by saying I put it on before my foundation in this video, but concealers work differently and I find that this one works best for, um, to put on top of foundation. So don't really do this step first. Normally, I do like my concealers under my foundation, but I do find that this one works best on top of foundation. So, don't do what I'm doing right now. Um, do it after foundation if you get this in. It's very good concealer. It really is a great price point. It's cruelty free. It covers very well and it lasts pretty good. Um, I do like this concealer. I just recommend it using it on top of foundation for this one um but yeah i'm using the concealer and i am going over under my eyes and getting that spot where i broke out not too long ago and just concealing my face a little bit all right next i am going to be use, using a combination of the in stylish sponge the um physicians formula healthy foundation and also I'm going to be using my Smashbox uh, face primer oil and I'm going to combine all of it and I'm going to use this as my way I'm applying my foundation. I just like to do it this way because um, my dry skin gets only drier during the winter months so I feel like even though the physician's formula healthy foundation is a moisturizing type of foundation I just need a little bit more hydration so by putting this oil mixed in with my foundation it just works really well and I love mixing it with all of my foundations and this sponge is very, very nice. And mixing the oil with the foundation, it makes it where I can use this sponge because this sponge is really good for mattifying, really good. So I personally love it more for powder, but I'm just using this sponge because it's new to me and I like playing with new stuff. Now we're gonna be using my favorite powder from the drugstore, the CoverGirl Clean Professional powder loose powder and i think this is in the color ivory i believe i'm not sure but i really love this powder the only thing i can think of people not liking this powder is maybe the old school covergirl smell but i personally don't mind it 
I love it. It has a, it just, it looks good with dry skin. Um, I'm sure it would do great for oily skin because it does seem to like, it just, it does its job, girls. It really does. It does its job. It's just smooth. It, uh, you don't see your pores as much. I mean, it's not pore refining, I don't think, but it does blur out where you're not going to notice your pores as much after using this powder. It definitely is not going to make them look more visible. Um, it just, and it blends and it just, I love it so much. Next, I'm going to go with the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer in the color Sweet Tea. And I'm going to pretty much just bronze the face, kind of contour, but bronze at the same time. Um, I don't know. I just love this powder so much because it's really hard to mess up. And the only place I normally mess up or get carried away is uh, I blend it too far down, but you'll see in a second that I will uh, put my CoverGirl loose powder that I used on my face to clean it up with the InStylish sponge later, and that's a good trick if you do get carried away with any type of bronzers. But this one's really, it's pretty hard to mess up on, and like you see, I'm going, I'm going to town on this bronzer, and um, I did use a different method after this video like i was trying out a new brush for contour slash bronzing and i don't i like that method um but like you see i get a bigger fluffier brush and that works out great okay now i'm using the Pix pixie by petra and it's a beauty blush duo in peach honey to do my highlight it's not a blush I mean, it has like a blushy feel to it, but it's more like a highlight. And you can go soft or hardcore with this. Now I'm going to go in with the Mini Jawbreaker Palette from Jeffree Star. And I'm going to use this um, Hot Fudge color, which is the perfect brow color for me. It's just a very nice matte brown shade that I love to fill in my brows with. And... I don't have sparse brows, so just using a matte brown shade works best for me. Um, so if you haven't tried just to simplify, simplify your makeup application with your brows by just filling them in with a matte brown eyeshadow and you have pretty decent brows in the start with, try this. Now I'm just going to clean up that extra bake off with a big fluffy brush. Now I'm going to set my face with the Smashbox The Hood Witch Photo Finish Love Ritual Primer Water in Jasmine and Rose um, before finishing up my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Professional Suede Lip Liner in the color Code Brew to outline my lips um, before going in with my lipstick color for a more ombre fall looking lip. The lip product I'm using is the ColourPop Cream um, Color in What's Your Sign. It was from the Zodiac Collection, um, Kathleen Lott's Zodiac Collection. I love this nude color. It's the perfect nude for me. And it just looks so nice with this NYX Professional Suede Lip Liner in Code Brew. Perfect lip combo for the fall. Alright, the next two things I'm using is the LA Get girls lashes in the style dolly and i'm trimming them down to my lash size and i'm also going to be using the kiss black adhesive and i really do i just recently purchased the black adhesive and i've been really enjoying it especially if you're going to be doing a dramatic look or a darker look um, not as natural the black adhesive works very well that way you don't see that clear band on the lash line um, like you normally do or I've had bad experiences from you don't see it using the black one so I've been really enjoying using a black adhesive so if you're one of those that's like I don't know that looks messy that's you know if you've already accomplished 
already using the clear adhesive and you I, I do highly suggest trying the black one because I've been enjoying it myself um, and as far as the dolly lashes LA colors is so affordable and these dolly lashes make you look like a little doll I love them I love the style they're only a dollar um, I personally get them from um, my local Dollar General so yeah you can also get them at Walmart sometimes, but I don't really know. I've only seen them there once, and I stocked up on those lashes when I saw them there. But I normally can find them at my Dollar General pretty, pretty easily. Now I'm going in with that same prick color from the blood sugar palette and I'm going to put it on my lower lash line using a more precise brush just to get the uh, lower lash line and then right below it just to be able to smoke it out in a minute and then I'm going to use the more a more fluffier and um, a more fluffier brush to actually blend it out. Now I'm going to use that same glucose shade as we used on the top brow bone area and I'm going to put it on the inner corners of my eyes just to kind of bring the attention closer to my inner corners. I think you pronounce this mascara alchemage. I don't know for sure but I got it out of a box a while back. I think it was a Ipsy Plus bag. Um, it's a pretty good mascara, especially for the lower lashes, but I'm just going to use this mascara to blend in my real lashes with my falsies and also do the lower lashes. Alright, that's pretty much it. Don't forget, my description box below will have the NYX Red Pigment um, link if you want to check it out for yourself. But I hope you enjoy this red glitter smoky eye for a holiday makeup look. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you better next time. Bye!